Last month, the government seems to have stepped up its plans to have over 80 state agencies closed down over reported duplication of roles in the bid to save taxpayers' monies. Recently, government tabled several bills in parliament to have some of the agencies closed down and merged with the entities from which they were developed. Today, the public service ministry that is taking the lead in the rationalization of government agencies says the money to facilitate the activity is not available, which will include the compensation exercise. This was during a meeting with Public Service Committee of Parliament, which is scrutinizing the sector budget for the financial year 2024-2025. Ministry of Public Service actually requires about 78 billion shillings. Um, to compensate the, 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 the government workers who are supposed to be laid off under the RAPEX program. And as we, as we as you heard, out of this money, it is only Minister of Public Service, Minister of Energy, which has already secured its, its, its money to pay its workers. That's about 1.6 uh, billion shillings. And we are still hopeful that positive action will be taken uh, so that the 74 billion, or even slightly more, yes, I think it's likely to be more. Uh, is realized and we really pay off these workers and we start on a new sheet. Over 2,000 people are likely to be affected by the decision to wind up these agencies. And some of these are not actually, you know, technically speaking, workers. A good number have, are going to are members of boards, yeah, who are not technically really workers. And the rationalization, what really it has done is to remove those areas of expenditure which are not really adding a lot of value. The members of parliament have asked the Ministry of Public Service to speed up the process of creating the salary review board which will help in harmonizing the salaries among the civil servants. Again, we have urged the minister to ensure that you know, you know, more energy is put in the, in, on this aspect of the salary review board. We have already met the ministry and we have given the, our views as the committee in terms of the importance of, of, of speeding up, uh, you know, this salary, you know, this salary, uh, you know, review board. We were required to do benchmarking. We have benchmarked. We have written a report. Um, now we have taken the matter to cabinet. So it's just remaining cabinet to approve our proposals and then... Uh, the board will be established. The members of parliament have also urged the Minister of Public Service to fight corruption in the recruitment of civil servants as it has manifested in several forms.